it comes down to this. Three points will guarantee their place in the knockout stages. Stay tuned, it's live on EA TV. The stage is set and the players are just about ready here in Manchester. We're at the home of City this evening. I'm Derek Ray and sharing commentary with me as usual is Stuart Robson. And a chance tonight for Manchester City to rubber stamp their presence in the Champions League knockout stages. It is Manchester City facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, thanks, Derek. This should be a good game today because City have been excellent so far. Another top-class performance here, and they will qualify for the knockout stages. starting 11 for Manchester City Ederson begins in goal Kevin De Bruyne starts alongside Frankie de Jong in the centre of midfield and so many different ways to configure an attack, in this case it'll be two men up front and this Champions League group stage contest commences Lukoko. Shot attempted. And a goal! Not bad for starters. They take an early lead. Well, here it is again. It was a good finish, but the keeper has to do better at his near post. He was beaten far too easily on that occasion. Well, back on the way here, it's going to be interesting to see whether or not Dortmund can find the right reply. But well, he could run onto it here. Brandt. Well, Borussia Dortmund unable to retain possession. Rhys James. And he's through here. And they couldn't add to their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. Now they've lost it. Really good attacking play. Well, a long-distance effort and a highly respectable one, Stuart. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. It's a decent effort, you have to say. A City free kick forthcoming. And he read it well defensively. Oh, he's really opened them up here. And the keeper flings himself at the ball. Who can he pick out? Oh, he's found the net. And that increases the advantage to two. Just what they wanted and just what they deserve. Well, here's another look at it. Certainly, delivery into the box couldn't have been any better, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. 2 0 here, and the ball is moving again. Foden. And a little bit too much height on that one. Poor pass. De Bruyne. City move it forward with purpose. Gives it a go. Well, he'd be disappointed if he didn't take that one cleanly. Now, there's been a goal at the Ramon Sanchez-Pitoan, and that means we join Alex Scott. 
Yeah, it's a goal for Sevilla. They've scored the opener with 29 minutes played. Thank you, Alex. First Chan. Very quick thinking there. Well, there you can see City haven't been able to control possession, but their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. It's been pretty well impossible to escape all the new stories surrounding him ahead of today's match. Up against his old club, and that's never easy for a footballer. A mixture of emotions. Well, I have to say, I never really played well against my old clubs. I always felt the spotlight was on me. I think he might find it difficult today. Well, very effective play in possession. But they took care of the situation defensively. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. And there goes the half-time whistle. Well, um... And the second half underway after what was a sparkling first 45 from City. Can they repeat that in the second 45? Determined defending. Well, this is the home of live football, EA TV, and we have more action coming up. He's got to tuck this away. Wonderful block. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day. It's superb scoring for him. Well, here we can see it again. And no wonder the manager is furious. They just have to get tied to here. Deal with the danger. Otherwise, that's the outcome. Not good enough defensively. Well, the action underway again. So comfortable for City, it's turning into a trouncing. Offside, close one. He's given it away. Holland. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. And the counter-attack is on, options available. Well, it looked highly promising, but it came to nothing in the end. And plenty of room in the wide area. Zane in the middle. And gobbled up with ease by the keeper. Who's Chan? City have the ball again. Real chance. Well, very effective goalkeeping to touch it over. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Short corner taken. Sané. Oh, that's a really good run. Lack of guile with regard to that cross. Goalkeeper's ball. Please move it immediately. Thank you. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Rioson. Giovanni Reina. Just the challenge that was required. Well, no two ways about it, Stuart. City absolutely cruising to victory today. Well, what can you say about this performance? They've been absolutely brilliant. They've played with such guile and creativity, and their passing has been so expansive. Not many teams would have stopped them today. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? And the keeper won't be complaining about that cross. Poor quality. Now, there's been a goal at the Ramon sanchez Pituan, and that means we join Alex Scott. Yet yeah, another goal for Sevilla. They're ahead by two now, with 87 minutes played. Many thanks as ever, Alex. And we will have just one additional minute. And he's broken free. He knew he had to make the tackle, and did. And so that is going to be that. The final whistle here.
And they're in a pretty comfortable position because not only have they booked a... There aren't many bigger games on the calendar than this one. Certainly, we're talking about two successful teams with passionate followings. All the live action coming up next from the Etihad. It's Manchester City versus Arsenal on EA TV. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? And he takes on the shot. Well, he couldn't quite keep it on target. Just why? And a look at the starting 11 for Manchester City. Ederson between the posts. Kevin De Bruyne plays alongside Frankie de Jong in the centre of midfield. And the tactical... Oh, big chance here, Derek. Oh, masterful defending to prevent what looked like a certain goal. Must be! And a goal! That is a very bright start. Perfect way to open. by Arsenal a wake-up call for the Arsenal players perhaps can they construct a response nicely timed tackle Joao Cancelo De Bruyne now Holland. he continues his run chance to finish and it goes two goals in rapid fire fashion and looking very comfortable here well here's the replay watch how he goes past his man with such ease and it's just a change of pace and he makes the finish look so easy what a good goal that is so underway again and a 2-0 advantage here A textbook interception takes on the shot and no worries for the goalkeeper Ben White well not many would debate the point that Erling Haaland is a joy to watch whenever he's out there on the pitch but what should we expect from him today Stuart well I think we can expect goals if his form is anything to go by you just hope that back line have been studying the tapes because most teams have really struggled to keep him at bay Superb block. Well, straight at the goalkeeper then. Jorginho. Effective challenge. Well, City, as the stats highlight, have had most of the ball. And that's been because of their ability to win the ball back so quickly. Their pressing has been excellent. And they just haven't stopped working. It's been a fantastic performance up to now. Very quick thinking there. Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Oh, big chance! And the keeper stretching to deny him. And the cross not quite imaginative enough. And the referee says penalty. An opportunity for 3 0. And that is when you need your goalkeeper. Cook 
on to Jesus couldn't hang on to it well the electronic board showing one additional minute Holland and that is going to be all for the first 40 second half underway here and Arsenal quite simply need to lift themselves able to skip past his man well it was down to whether or not he could beat the keeper and that question has been answered well I'm all for players striking through the back of the ball with power but he has to hit the target from there he's in with a chance well he's missed the chance and the keeper didn't have to do very much and we very much hope you'll join us for more live Premier League action on EA TV it's Manchester City facing Brentford well the fixtures are coming thick and fast it should be a good game that hopefully I've not just given it the commentator's curse attacking possibilities on the flank for City here not messing around with that clearance De Bruyne Leroy Sané and quite simply a wonderful chance was squandered and Manchester City will go to their bench a chance for them to provide a test in the form of a corner the clearance wasn't decisive Sané long way out well leaning back a bit couldn't keep the shot down That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. It's gone in! And well, he might celebrate on the back of that. Well, the action underway again. So comfortable for City, it's turning into a trouncing. Kukchu. And return to Jesus. Oh dear, not a great effort, was it? Error by the keeper, might give him a chance. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Well, goal news to bring you from the Everton game. Alex Scott has the details. Yep, it's a goal for Everton. They've pulled one back with 73 minutes played. Cheers, Alex. going well and he did what he had to do defensively body on the line and Neymar Neymar has a go here well I gave him the big build up but the keeper has it comfortably Alexander Zinchenko wonderful challenge and a throw in coming up and with play stop they will make the change now but it comes down to the final five minutes might be a chance here and just like that the break has stopped really top quality defending De Jong misfiring completely yeah he's gone for power but the contact was never right it's a poor effort really yeah. and so the referee blows the whistle it is the end of the contest